Here we go. We're gonna Dynamax my guy. Boom! Big, big S Dog. What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Pokemon Sword and Shield. We just exited the Galar Mine. I want to thank you guys for your support on this series. Uh, you guys left over 15,000 likes in the first episode. It now has over 600,000 views. It's going to hit a million views very soon. Thank you so much for your support. This person says, Hiya, me and my big sister have set ourselves up as a pop-up Pokemon Center service. Not that we asked you. So it's the same thing as last time. Uh, so go ahead and heal up my Pokemon because they probably took a bit of a beating before last time. Uh, once you get through the Galar Mine, you're out on Route 4 and nearly to Turf Field. So that sounds awesome. Uh, let me see. Let me pull up my Pokemon chart here. And then we're going to be ready to go. Uh, you're almost there, Gym Challenger. Yes, indeed. I am almost there. So let's get on over there then. That would be great. And so here we go. I'm ready to have some fun. Oh, there's another tent. I don't know if I want to spend time cooking and stuff, but let me talk. Let's chat for just a sec. Can't be with your Pokemon playing together, cooking together. These are all great ways to become closer with your Pokemon. You're welcome to stop by my camp too if you'd like. I'm okay. I'm okay. We just we did a good thing, but I'm okay. Okay, this person wants to challenge me. Hello. 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 I'm ready. I'm doing special training while camping to train my Pokemon. The finishing touch will be a battle with you. Okay, great. Let's fight it out then. Let's fight it out. You were challenged by Pokemon breeder Jamie. Okay, let's see what we got then. And uh, what she want to do? What, what you want to throw at me, huh? Uh, Meowth. Okay, I actually have an M-Dog myself. So <laughs> let's go ahead and, and uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, let's just... Oh, okay. That that one looks different. Wait, am I, am I confusing it? I might be confusing it. Let's just fight. What do we got? Super effective. Uh, or was it say super effective? Or, okay, anyway. Here we go attacking. Boom, kick to the face. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. All right, I'm happy enough with that. That was great. Super effective, thank you. Uh, Meow fainted, and then uh, we're gonna get experience points. A uh, C dot. I'm, is that sounds like a grass type? I'm gonna keep. I, I don't know what C dot actually is, but to me, it sounds like a seed. Uh, okay, I, I don't know if that's a grass type or not, but it could be. Let's go ahead and fight it, and uh, let's try Flame Charge. It may not be a seed. I don't know what it is. But that was a that was great. It's super effective, so yeah, there we go. Again, I don't know if it's actually a grass type. It is a grass type. C dot fainted. Goodbye to you, C dot. I'll see you later. And we get experience points. So yeah, this series has been going really well. I think today we're gonna fight our first gym. Battle in our first gym. Oh, Butterfree. That's that's a bug type. It's a bug flying type, probably. Uh, what's good against that? Electricity? Let's. Uh, I, uh. Why am I forgetting this? I don't know. I'm gonna switch to P Dog though. Here we go. Here we go. And uh, hello. There, there we go. There we go. Um. Nice. Okay. Okay. Fight. Let me just try. Uh, Electro Ball. Is that the right thing? Or, or is no? That's, that's is that the paralysis? Yeah, that's the paralysis. Sorry. Well, that does do damage. Or maybe it's not the paralysis. Okay, here we go. All right. Got me. And then let's fight again. Let's do Thunder Wave. So see, see what happens there. I think that's the one that we're talking about. All right. A critical hit on me, sadly. I avoided the attack. Fine. Let's do another electric Electro Ball. Here we go. Get him. Got him good. Okay, stop hitting me, please. My speed fell. Flying is weak to electricity, so... If that wasn't enough? You gotta be joking, kidding me. Let's do, uh... Let's do one more, then. I don't know. Here we go. Oh, did they just heal? What did they do? What, what, what item was that? Yep, that was a potion. Okay. Great. Gosh, man, this is not... It says super effective, but I mean, I guess it's so close to my level that it's not that effective. Here comes Supersonic beaming at me. All right, this is a tough fight. P-Dog, I thought... Oh, P-Dog, I thought you had it in you. Oh, great. All right. 
But we still get to use the Electro Ball. Just don't attack yourself. <laughs> All right, Butterfree is down for the count. All right, hopefully this, uh, this stays like that, right? All right. Anyone level up? There we go, Wingall leveled up. I'm really thinking about adding Wingall to my team. I don't know. What do you like? Or considering Wingall like a permanent part of my team, but I'm not so sure. I'm still gonna try to figure it out. I was sure my Pokemon were in top condition. All right, that's fine. That's fine. They they were they weren't that bad actually. So let's go over here and uh, let's see what we're gonna do. This thing's walking around. Oh, that's a kid. <laughs> that's a kid. <laughs> what do you think? I, I look just like a Pikachu, right? I didn't know what the heck that was. I th it turned out to be just a kid though. Poke Kid Shane. I'm a teenager though. Shane sent out Pikachu. All right, so there we go. That's good, right? Okay, I need to, uh, really quick. I need to, <laughs> okay, let's fight, let's just fight. What do you got? Uh, effective, let's do a double kick just to see what happens against the Pikachu, why not? Uh, let's see here, what do we, what do we got going? Oh, 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 I'm paralyzed? Oh, but I can still kick, so that's, that's fine. Hit twice. Electro ball coming at me right now. Goodness gracious, okay. Well, do what you need to do, but don't don't hurt me too much. Let's go ahead and fight. Let's do a, an ember. There we go. Nicely done. Gotcha. Now the Pikachu fainted. Not too shabby, right? And our Pokemon gain experience points, so I'll be happy about that. Or I am happy about that, rather. So then, uh, oh, and we got S-Dog and M-Dog who have leveled up. Great. M-Dog is, is 17. All right. There we go. Not too shabby. Pika! Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha. Here we go. Moving on. So that was great. Anything else in here that I need to worry about? What is that? Hold on. I gotta see what this is. Excuse me. Oh, wow. Uh, Electric. All right. I'm assuming Electric is an electricity type of uh, Pokemon. So let's just see. Uh, let's go with Double Kick just for now. Although I'm paralyzed. I don't know if I'm going to... Can I still attack or not? Let's see if I can come out of this. All right. There you go. There's one kick. There's another kick. I'm assuming Electric is, you know, bad news. Here, let's do another double kick. I, well, I should know. I wanted to catch. I wanted to catch. I'm an idiot. That's okay. I'm an idiot. That's okay. I'm allowed to be an idiot sometimes. Because uh, I did want to catch this. So, <laughs> But I don't know. Gotcha. Just an electric type. I'm, I'm not so sure I wanted to catch it after all. Because I already got P-Dog. Who's almost leveled up again. Uh, What else is around here? There's an item here. Paralyzed heal. Okay, there's another one. Whoa, whoa, right up to me, right up to me. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right, fine. Here we go again. Come on, S Dog, you got this. Uh, let's do another double kick. Even though I'm paralyzed, I'm so confused about this paralysis right now because I'm. I feel like I'm doing okay. I am taking some damage though, but let's do a double kick, and then we'll see if we can capture Electrike. Just because. Just because. All right, go ahead and use the Pokeball. And we'll see if we can get him in there. All right. Nicely done. All right, I'm happy about that. Electrike was caught. And leveled up P-Dog and Stunky. Again, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep Stunky around. But we got Electrike. It stores static electricity in its fur for discharging. It gives us sparks if a storm approaches. Ooh. All right, so no nickname for you. I'm just gonna send you to the box. Again, I don't know. I, I'm just, you know, things that look interesting to me visually, uh, I like to capture. Is that, a, is that a Pikachu? I already have a Pikachu. I don't need you. I already have, uh, there you go. I got Nest Balls. It's somewhat different Pokeball that becomes more effective to lower the level of the wild Pokemon. All right, come on, get out of here, guys. Stop, don't chase me. Text that. No, I don't want that either. That's something. It's a lot of Pikachu up in here. What is that? What is that? No, get away from me. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything that really stands out. I got a rare candy though. That's not too bad. 
Another thing there. Uh, two doses of energy powder. A bitter medicinal powder used to restore 60 HP. I'm just going to jump over here super quick. Grab the sharp beak. Uh, it's a long sharp beak that boosts the power of flying type Pokemon. I could add that to, to Wingull. Alright, I know I know all the rules. I know all the rules. Get that out of here. I don't need to know anymore. Uh, let's fight you. You're just kind of hanging out. 50 years of raising Pokemon. Did you come to see the progress of my work? What? <laughs> Pokemon breeder. Did you say 50? You're not 50. Did you say 50? <laughs> did I misread that? All right. Um, you know, again, if we're going to be fighting electricity types, you know, we could be looking uh, at maybe using a ground move, but I don't think I have anyone with a ground move. So let me just take double check and make sure. I don't have anyone with a ground move. So let's just, even though I was just in a mine. All right. And I'm still, how am I still paralyzed? Okay, let's do a uh, double kick again. Quick attacks and hit me first. I'm gonna probably need to use a potion or one of those uh, powder things that I just picked up. All right. That wasn't so bad. Let's do it one more time. Let's do a quick attack. Maybe the quick attack will, you know, since, can I go first on that one? Nice. There we go. Quick like a rabbit. All right, now what's what's next? Lotad. What is Lotad? I'm gonna look up Lotad really quick because I don't even know what Lotad is. Uh, Lotad is a water grass type, okay. So a water grass type would be weak against, uh, you know, fire, of course. Well, actually, does the water cancel? Yeah, uh, the water grass really messes with the fire's ability and grass's ability and ice's ability. Uh, poison would work, flying would work. I do have a flying attack. Uh, wing, I'm, I'm really thinking about, you know, let's switch Pokemon. I'm really thinking about this wing gall here. I do have a flying attack, so swap the Pokemon. And then, uh, wing gall's here. Low tad, okay. <laughs> All right, wing attack. There we go. Swoop, there it is. Super effective. He's gonna growl at me, I don't care. All right, fight and do another wing attack. Oh, a potion. Fine. Let's see if this does does a trick. I don't know if it will. Nope. Got to do one more. But you wasted your turn on a potion, so here we go again. Here comes a wing attack. Boom, Lotad is dead. But yeah, I appreciate you guys so much for being here and for coming back again and again and again on this series. You know, you, I, a lot of you are probably back from the Let's Go series of last year. There you go. Well, I didn't raise them for 50 years. Well, I didn't raise them. <laughs> you what? Okay, I was going to say, the 50 years thing threw me off, dude. All right, well, that's okay. I'm just kind of running around here, seeing what all I can find. I've already been here. This is kind of a, kind of a thing, huh? What's going on over here? I found a repel. I can get a diglet, I guess. Sup? Okay, now I see a wild Poke Kid appeared. Okay, <laughs> you, you said it all right. You were challenged by Poke Kid Sunny. All right, Sunny. Milsery. All right, I don't even know what Milsery is. I'm still paralyzed. Can I, here, let me. What's in my bag? Super Potion. Ether. 60 HP to me. Energy powder could work. Let's use the Paralyze Heal. I don't even know what kind of effect this is having on me, but let's go ahead and use it. Here we go. Nicely done. And then what is this? Milstery is a fairy type. What just happened to me? My evasiveness harshly fell. I'm probably gonna go ahead and use a potion now. Maybe not a potion, or maybe a potion. It's only 20. Let's use a uh, super potion. What's the difference between this energy powder? I don't know. Let's just use a super potion on S dog. There we go. So fairy types are going to be weak against um, poison, 
steel. I don't have any of that. So we just have to straight up attack this. I do have a... Oh, I might have a poison. I don't know. Do I have a poison move? I do. Acid spray. Stunky. Come out here for a second. Here we go. Stunky's here, ready to... <laughs> the butt face Stunky. Draining kiss. Ew. Don't kiss a skunk. All right. Uh, fight. Acid spray. Here we go. That was pretty good. Super effective. And special defense fell. Sweet scent. Hey, I got, I got a sweet scent myself. All right, my evasiveness harshly fell. Let's do another acid spray against you. Stunky move. All right, take that, Milsery. All right, the opposing Milsery has fainted. Good deal. So now, uh, sure, we gain experience points. The Ninjask leveled up. Good for him. All right, oh, it's already over. It is, it is, that was quick. Easy to beat up a kid like you. So, do we want to get a Diglett? Maybe. I want to go over here, though. Yeah, sure, what's 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 the mystery thing in here? Oh, wow, what is this? The Jol Joltic. That's got to be an... If I were to guess, I would say electric bug? Like, I don't know for sure, but I would just say, I mean, it looks like a bug. It looks like electricity. So, I'm going to assume it's the electric bug. So, uh, what's what are bugs weak against? Let's see, because I don't really know. I'm looking it up. Fire. Perfect. Ember. Let's see if we can do an ember. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Oh, that, that, just, <laughs> that just made him leave immediately. Again, I'm not too interested in catching, uh, you know, some of these. I, I don't know. I mean, it's always fun to catch Pokemon, but most of the time, there's a pile of silver powder. Uh, uh, boost the power of bug type moves. What is this? I got to know what this is. Oh, this is uh, one of those fairy types. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, so the military looks totally different when you fight it than when it's in the outer world. What the heck? What? All right, let's just do a uh, Ember. And we'll see if we can weaken it enough to capture it. And if we ever need a military, then I'll... I'll I'm, gonna, I'm gonna store it in the box. Why does it look so... Why does it look so different? I'm, I'm running low on Pokeballs, so I better get back to town and buy some. Can never have too many Pokeballs. Locked and loaded. All right, awesome. Milstery was caught. All right, awesome. Sup. This Pokemon was born from sweet smelling particles in the air. Its body is made of cream. <laughs> and are they only male? Is that, is that what we're seeing? Uh, no nickname and box storage for you. How come the Outer World version of that looks totally different? Oh, wait, I, I fought against something that wasn't, okay. Weird, I got a random encounter. So this is uh, Pumpkaboo. What the heck is Pumpkaboo, dark? I would guess dark. Let's see, Pumpkaboo is what? It's a ghost grass. That's so interesting. Okay, I'm gonna capture it. Uh, grass type is gonna be weak to fire. Uh, if I don't capture this one, there's plenty to capture. So let me just use a, an ember. This might just wipe it out. Dang it. Okay, I can go get another one. Sorry. All right, so it just fainted, left it on the field to die forever. All right, so that's really interesting. There's an item here, energy root. Whoa, 120 HP, I guess I'll keep that. Here's another one of these dudes. There's, these things are plentiful, might as well capture one. All right, let's just do a double kick or something, and then we'll, uh... Wait, wait, if it's a ghost, though, the ghost does not is not affected by normal moves. So... Well, double kick. Let's try his flame charge. Is that gonna be as strong? That might be stronger. That's stronger. What am I thinking? Ugh, okay. I'm gonna have to put out uh, someone else who can do a non-normal attack. All right, leveled up Wingall and S Dog. Okay, let's uh, you know something just to we maybe I can just straight up try to capture one. I have better balls than this. Oh, wait, another is this another random encounter? No, it's the one I wanted. Pump Kaboo. 
Let's try, uh, this one is 14. Let's just try to straight up capture it with a great ball. What do you think? Nest ball? Let's try nest ball. I just picked these up. I don't even know what these, these are like. I don't, I don't even know what nest balls are all about, honestly. But I caught it. Pumpkin Boo was caught. I'm gonna send it to the, uh, the grave, <laughs> whatever. Although I don't have a grass ghost. A grass ghost is so interesting. I don't think I have any grass right now. What do you think? Should I get rid of Ninjask? I'm gonna get rid of Ninjask for now. I think I'm gonna get rid of Ninjask. I don't think I don't think Ninjask has any long-term viability in my party. But correct me in the comments below if you're if I'm wrong. Let me know. Uh, spirits that wander this world are placed into Pumpkin Boo's body. They're then moved on to the afterlife. That is grim. No nickname for you for now, uh, but I'm going to add to my party, uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put you where I, I have not used Ninjask in forever. So you're gonna replace Ninjask. I just don't have a type like that, you know. No, no, get away! I don't want you guys. Oh, they're rushing after me. Uh, I don't have any Diglets either. I could try to get a Diglet really quick. This is a ground type. I would just add him to my 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 box. All right, we're spending a lot of time fighting these things. Let's do an effective double kick. Ah, oh, that's gonna wipe him out. Whatever. I'm not, again, I'm not too keen on having a Diglet. But it's such a classic Pokemon that you kinda wanna have one, right? Let's try one more. Then I wanna go to town. I mean, I really wanna go ahead and finish this up. There's one more section I can explore out here on the Route 4. Let's try a, uh, this, maybe? And just one of these, Ember? They're all effective. All right, that, yeah, that's good, Bulldoze. Whoa, ow, oh my god. All right, that's fine. Super effective, oh, that actually hurt me. Uh, let's go ahead, uh, try to capture you with just a regular Pokeball, hopefully. All right, I think this will work. All right, Diglett was caught. All right, M-Dog and Stunky both leveled up. Stunky's 18 and wants to learn the move Bite, which is pretty cool. Uh, Stunky already has Furry Swipes, which is pretty interesting. Focus Energy and Faint. I'm just gonna forget Focus Energy, I think. I think. Yeah, I think so. Or, you know, Fury Swipes, how useful is it? Yeah, let's forget Fury Swipes. And we learn Bite for Stunky. That means two, two people know Bite, right? That should be really well set against people who are weak against Dark. If a diglet digs through a field, it leaves the soil perfectly tilled and ideal for planting crops. And no nickname, and I'm gonna send you to the box. Just in case. All right, let's peace out of here. There's one more section to look into over here. Another kid running around. Paralyzed heel. What is that? Oh, that's one of those doggos. Hey, kid. I'm an Eevee, I'm full of possibilities. All right. My dog just barked, that's okay. Pokey Kid Mia. Eevee's coming out. All right, S-Dog, I know you can do it. Let's go ahead and fight. Uh, let's just do, I forget, I totally forget what Eevee's weak against. Let's just do an Ember attack. Let's see what happens here. I was never, you know, one for the S-Dog use Ember. Yeah, it's halfway there. Let's do another one. This is the only thing here. All right, there we go. Eevee fainted. There we go. Pokey Kid Mia has been defeated. I'm downhearted because I lost. Well, don't worry about it. Everyone loses to me. So, you should be honored to be one of the several who have lost. 
This is a tree, all right. Oh, what's what, what do I what do I what do I see? Oh, there's a kid this way. There he is, dressed as Pikachu. He's ho he's guarding a some sort of Pokeball thing. Rice. Joltik. You know, uh, if I had the uh, anyway, Joltik being uh, a bug type was weak against fire, so super effective flame charge. Let's do it. Here we go. We've been doing a lot of fighting on Route Four, but we're gonna get to town right after this. And then we're gonna see what's up in the town. So do not worry. Grubbin, no keep. Uh, it's Grubbin also sounds like a uh, a bug. So I'm gonna attack it with fire also. All right, here we go. Nice. All right. I'm happy about that. All right, I'm so downhearted. Another kid who's down. I'm just ruining kids' lives here. Coming, coming here. Like, sorry guys, I didn't mean to ruin everyone's lives. But I got the TM pin missile. Uh, cool. What does it do? Sharp spikes are shot at the target in rapid succession. They hit two to five times. And a run. No. Oh man. Whatever. Okay. Fine. I did not want to fight this guy. Can I just run? I, I really don't care. Let's just run. There we go. I don't, I don't want you. I don't want you. Get out of my life. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, what? Oh, wow. Oh, uh, one of these things. A oh, wild Wooloo. Uh, okay. Sure. I don't even know what a Wooloo is. Let's use a Ember and see if we can just weaken enough. They seem common enough. My, my, my pal Hop likes these, so maybe I'll catch one. What the heck was that? Shared his guard with me. Okay, whatever. Guard against the Pokeball, you dork. Here we go. All right. P Dog and Pump Kaboo. Nice. It's curly fleece is such an effective cushion that this Pokemon could fall off a cliff and stand right back at the, the bottom unharmed. Okay. Uh, no nickname and send you to the box. All right, I'm happy about that. Let's go to town. I've been spending a lot of time on this route. Let's go back to town. Get out of here. I'm ready, I'm ready. I don't care about those things chasing me. Wooloo, where do you think you're going? Bleh. Who said that? Oh, great. Another Wooloo. Wooloo crashed into you and stopped. Oh, is this the gym leader? Yeah, I recognize him from the opening ceremony. My, are you okay? You took that tackle head on. Hmm, oh, and you must be one of those gym challengers, right? Yes, indeed. Ah, uh, I thought so. I saw you at the opening ceremony. I'm number one. My name's Milo. I'm, the, I'm a gym leader and a rather partial to grass-type Pokemon. Well, thankfully, I have fire-type. I've been itching to see just how good the champion endorsed gym challengers are. Let me find out at the gym stadium. Just head on through this route and you'll run right into my stadium. See you there. So, come on now. Back to the stadium with you too. We can't keep the gym challengers waiting. Bah. All right, I'm gonna ruin this guy's life probably with my fire type Pokemon. Like for real. So let's head in. Oh, I missed an item back there. Fine. There it is. Two X accuracies. Is that Hop over there? Is Hop just waiting right over here? Maybe so. All right, look. Just take a look at that, Z-Dog. That's Turffield Stadium down there. Yeah. Pretty amazing. The gym leader just returned too. Milo's his name. But the place is jam-packed with challengers and it'll be ages before our turn comes up. Oh, but Sonia was looking for you, Z-Dog. She wanted to ask you about something. She tried asking me, but I had no idea. She's up on on uh, on that what's her face hill. You know the one. What? You don't know the hill? Well, have a look at your map if you're not sure. Bow wow. All right. That looks like he's wearing a jacket. Oh, if it isn't Sonia's Yamper, he's a good boy. He'll show you the way. All right. Let's go talk talk to Sonia. So he wants me to follow first. Bow wark. What are these two talking about? 
If you've never seen it before, you should really go see the amazing scenery from the hilltop. In fact, you, could, you, should, you should go see it again, even if you have seen it before. That geoglyph. I heard nobody knows its name. Maybe it was a forbidden name or something. All right. I took a photo of the geoglyph, but it just doesn't compare to seeing it yourself. Still, looking at the photo is enough to bring him back a rush of emotions. All right. Bow wow, I know, but but for a sec, I'm gonna go down here if possible because I see some items. I'll keep following you, Yamper, but first, check this out. There's something here. Three X attacks. I like never use those items, but that's okay. A leaf stone, a peculiar stone that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. Such mysterious stone structures. Were they made by people or by Pokemon? I don't know, man. There's Sonya. Thanks, Yamper. Bow wow wow. All right. I, I had you come because I wanted to hear what you thought. Oh, that's such an interesting pattern. So that Geoglyph, what do you think of it? The Darkest Day, Dynamax? Dude, I don't know, Dynamax, maybe? Seems likely. It certainly looks like a gigantic Pokemon. I suppose people 3,000 years ago could have just imagined this, but it looks too similar to Dynamax. It can't just be a coincidence. A long time ago, a great black storm covered the Galar region. Giant Pokemon ran rampant. But that was, uh, but what was that black storm they called the Darkest Day? What connection does it have to Dynamax? Guess I'm the lucky lady who will be looking into that. Grand sure does give me lots to do. Thanks for your thoughts on the matter. As thanks, I'll give you a League card. So I got her League card. No, no, I got Milo's League card. What? Why do I have Milo's? Milo's a Grass-type Gym Leader. Things will go well for you if you use Fire, Flying, or Bug-type moves. Take these two. It'll be pretty bad if your Pokemon weren't in fighting form. Two revives. I think my my. You know, I think my wing is gonna be good. Go on, then give yourself a Turfield Stadium. Uh, get, get yourself to Turfield Stadium and battle yourself, silly. All right, I will do that. Bow Wark. I like how there are different heights of drinking fountains here. Ones for I guess Pokemon, ones for kids, and then ones for adults. I got a bottle of fresh water. You know what I think? I think that Geoglyph was created with the help of Pokemon. How can a Geoglyph drawn ages ago last for so long without eroding away? It's so perplexing. If I think too much about it, I won't be able to sleep. Well, the, turn off your brain for a second. There I am. <laughs> that kid laughed at me. Don't you laugh at me, you little twerp. I want to stick my head in the photo stand with when I grow taller. Time for a gym challenge. How exciting. Did I talk to you yet? A treasure lies buried somewhere in turf field. According to this treasure map, the trick is to find the, tre the, the trick to finding the treasure lies in the standing stones. Seek yourself three standing stones with grass before the other ones. Use well that strength and find then the strength of its strength in the end. Dally not if you've a mind to find what time is left behind. That's what it says, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Me neither. I'll just rely on the viewers to tell me what it means because I don't know. All right. Oh, there's three over there. But who knows if that's it. All right, we're going down. First, I want to go over here. What's up, my dude? If you don't take proper care of your equipment, you can fail when you really need it. Let's go in here. A Wulu escaping from Turfield Stadium and Milo leisurely chasing after it. Nothing out of the ordinary around here. Maybe it's time we come up with some sort of souvenir based on the Geoglyph. Maybe a Geoglyph jam or something? I don't, I don't know if the jam's the right thing. All the companies running ads are owned by Mr. Rose. That doesn't sound right. Welcome to Pokemart. Yeah, I'm here to buy. Do you have any Pokeballs? Because I could definitely use like another 10 of them. Let's do 12. Uh, also, one Premier Ball in the house. Thank you. Potions. I could probably use another 10 potions as well. And then, I don't know if I need anything else. Maybe Antidote. Give me like four of those. There we go. Alright, I'm happy. Enough. No, I'm not here to buy. I'm here to sell. Let's sell. I do have some stuff to sell. I Not the berries. Uh, not this either. There's something like I can sell. Something that, that like is not, is just purely, purely just to sell, right? What was it? 
Uh, like, like wherever the nuggets are. I think nugget is just to be sold, right? There we go. And so, so can the star piece. All right, that's a low price, high price. I think these are just to sell. I hope I'm not wrong. I don't know. Well, I'll keep some of the other stuff. I hope I hope I was I, I hope that was okay to sell. Yes, rest your Pokemon. I'm really thinking about. I don't know. I mean, for now, Wingull's useful. You know what I mean? For now, at least. Wingall is quite useful. I don't know what his evolution looks like, though, so I don't know, like, what he becomes. Does it show you, like, uh... Like, does it show you what he becomes? Pelipper? I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm ready to, to, to for sure, add him to my party. I mean, he's in my party now, but you know what I'm saying. I don't know if I should give him a, a, a name that befits him. Is this way blocked? Sorry, but Team Yell caused quite a kerfuffle, and now the bridge is, is... Okay, yeah. All right, so I'll give you some time. What's over here, though? What's this? Something carved into stone. It says fire. All right, let's head out this way, then. This is so interesting. The shapes of all of the, these paths. There's one. An Everstone. There's an item there too, a brutal swing. All right, the user swings his body around violently to inflict damage on everything in the vicinity. Dead end. All right, let's move over here. Nope, dead end also. Up, oh, up, up, up. Energy root. All right, we're about ready to head. Time for the gym challenge, indeed. What does this say? Dark. Is this, is this one grass over here? What say you? Milo does more than just work in the fields. He raises beautiful flowers, too. If you hold flowers, Pokemon will gather around you. Does this one say grass? Yeah, so something about... What, what do I do about the treasure? Like, how do I get a treasure out of this? Like, what was the puzzle? I found this. Dude, I don't know, man. Max revive, that's good. Because then if any of my guys happen to get fainted. So, yeah, let me know about the treasure. How, what do I do to get a treasure here? Because that seems like what I'm supposed to be at. Okay, we're here. Here we go. Take a look at look at this, Z-Dog. The grass type, the grass gym badge. I got it in one try. I reckon I'm just the greatest when it comes to wrangling Wooloo. I've had plenty of practice after all. But I'm sure you can win this too. After all, you are my rival. All right, I'll probably get it too. Don't worry about me. I can probably get it on one try as well. You can challenge the gyms as many times as you want. I guess it's to test your unbreakable will. The league cards of gym leaders tell all sorts of stories. What, what does mine say? What, what kind of story does my league card? Is it, do I get, get to read his? That's me. Album. Milo's. Uh, select and throw away. No. What kind of story does this tell me? This doesn't tell me anything. But it's signed, though. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go in. Let's see what we got. Oh, man. There's a Pokemon head, dude. Hey there. Thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. As a sign of our friendship, let me give you a wonderful Pokeball. A friend ball. All right. Thank you. A strange Pokeball that make the wild Pokemon caught with it more friendly towards you immediately. If you catch a Pokemon with a friend ball, it'll become friendly with you in no time. Just like how we became friends. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? This guy freaks me out. Grass-type Pokemon are weak to fire-type moves. That's common sense. I just can't seem to catch a Galarian Meowth. If you got a Galarian Meowth, want to trade it for my Meowth? No. I see. Well, let me know if you change your mind. 
You're a gym challenger, right? I'll remember your name if you can receive a grass badge. Oh, I can. I can. Believe you. Believe it or not. What is this? Welcome to the uniform shop. Are you looking for anything in particular? Whoa. Look at all this stuff. What the heck? Do I get to change my uniform? Oh, man. I'm not ready to change yet. Because I don't know what to, what to look for. Where's a fire uniform? It's not a fire one. All right. Let me just leave. I'm done for now. I don't need to spend my money on this. These guys are just all talking. There's a guy selling stuff. What about you? So apparently you can't face the gym leader without completing the gym mission first. I wonder what we'll have to do. I'm pretty good at dancing. What is the mission? I don't know. Welcome, gym challenger. Allow me to help you through your registrations. First things first, how about a quick refresher about the gym challenge? Your goal as a gym challenger is to complete each gym mission, defeat every gym leader, and gather eight gym badges. Got it. So, would you like to attempt the gym mission? Let's do it. If you would like to attempt the gym mission, please change into a uniform. All right, let's do that. Let's see what the mission actually is. I'm in. Now let the gym mission begin. Give it your best shot. What do I gotta do? Do I just go in? Okay, here we go. Gym mission coming up, I guess. Let's find out what this is all about. All right, this is a beautiful gym. Holy cow, this is a big gym. What do I gotta do? Do I just gotta get through this? This is quite a beautiful place. Look at all the Wooloos I can capture now. All right. <laughs> this guy looks hilarious. The mission given by Turfield's Pokemon Gym is this, to chase out our unruly Wooloo. All right, we'll chase him. To that blockade we made up uh, from our bales of straw over there. You gotta get all 20, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, by the way, you can call me Dan. I serve as a referee, and also it's my job to report the results to, of battles to the League HQ. Now, let the gym mission begin. All right, so I just push them over there. Get over there, you twerps. Oh, stay there, please. All right, this is an easiest mission ever. I've done it. All right, nicely done. And then we get we get them all over here too, right? Easy. What a mission, huh? Does this guy want to fight me? I think so. Welcome, Jim Challenger. Sorry, but I'll have to send you packing. It's my job. Yeah, well, I'm going to send you packing instead. Gym Trainer Samuel. All right, Samuel sent out Gossifer, which is a grass type, which means I'm going to singe Gossifer with my uh, with my special moves. Here we go, an Ember coming right at you, Gossifer. Oh, almost dead. I should have used the other thing. Leafage coming at me. It's okay. I'll use uh, that. Does nothing. I will uh, use a quick attack to make sure to hit you and end your life right now. Gossifleur! Boom! Alright. Easy challenge, Samuel. As expected, a gym challenger and their Pokemon are in perfect sync with each other. Alright, well, I'm gonna move on then. Push some more Wooloo. Move, dog. Oh, what? This dog scared him off. Rude. All right, I'll get some up here. This guy probably wants to challenge me too. No biggie. I wonder if your Pokemon want to use their moves with all their strength and feel great. They do. They want to just burn the crap out of you, Mark. Here we go. Voodoo. Let's not mess around. Let's just do. Uh, let's just do one of the best moves I have. Flame charge. Here we go. Goodbye. And my speed rose, of course. That's a great move. S dog leveled up. Nice. 
Oddish. Uh, keep current Pokemon. Hello, Oddish. I remember you. Uh, and you're going to remember me with my Flame Charge. Got him. Super effective. A critical hit. Goodbye, Oddish. Oddish fainted. All right. All right. I'll give a Balwark instead of Yamper. Okay. No, don't. Yamper's fine enough. All right. Yamper's here trying to mess with me. Trying to get these uh, sheep in here. There's all 20. Excellent. All right, so we got a couple of things going on here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Hey, we'll just send a few through. You want to fight me, too? The gym leader lies just ahead of you, but that doesn't mean you'll be reaching him. Oh, it does. It does mean that. Leia. What do you got? Bonus sweet. Bound, bound sweet. Whatever. It's flammable, right? Flame charge. Should be. This should be a cinch. Boom. Gotcha. Who's next? All right. Here we go. And then uh, Oddish. Okay, sure. No, just no. I I said no. I meant no. All right. So get ready for this. This is gonna be exciting. Uh, flame charge. <laughs> Another one, right? Boom! In your face. Super effective again. Wingo leveled up. Next is the gym leader, right? What a strong challenger. All right, it's okay. I'm gonna just push these sheep up here. And I hate all of these things. These yampers. We'll get a handful up here, then the gym challenger will be ready. So the woo some of the Wooloos are there. Let's uh, continue getting the rest. They're just going on their own, huh? I'll get him up there just alone, solo. There'll be 10 of 20. And then the rest of them are coming up as soon as I get them up. Move! All right. All right, Milo, I'm ready for you. Here we go. Now, why do those split up? Okay, we got them to where we want. They knew where to go. Milo, I'm ready for you. I will beat you. I will burn you. I will become the gym champion. Here we go. Gym mission cleared. All right. What's up ahead? Come on. Let's see it. All right, I'm ready. Whoa, this is giant. Oh, yeah, that's right, because we can Dynamax. This will be fun. All right, there's my... <laughs> this is such a big gym. And everyone's watching. What's he got, six? I guess I got six. But I'm primarily going to use one. All right, let's do this. Hello, Milo. Glad to have met you before, but I'm ready. My gym's the first one people face, so we get a lot of challengers. That's why I tried to keep the gym mission challenging, but that didn't stop you from, from completing it, Z-Dog. Proper job. Sure seems like you understand Pokemon real well. This is going to be a doozy of a battle. I'll have to Dynamax my Pokemon if I want to win. Well, me too then, I guess. All right, let's step away from each other a little bit. Hope everyone's going to cheer for me. Milo, you are challenged by Gym Leader Milo. All right, Gym Leader Milo sent out Gossifler. Here we go. S-Dog, I know you can do it. Nice. We're going to start off easy. In the Galar region, Pokemon can become far larger than usual in certain places. This transformation is called Dynamaxing. Press the Okay, wait, I know. I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to wait uh, for later. I'm going to wait till he Dynamaxes. 
Uh, here comes a flame flame charge. This is gonna be my primary move, I think. Goodbye. Easy, super effective, and my speed rose, which is even better. Who's next? That was great. Uh, Eldegoss. I think Eld I think I'm good, but what is Eldegoss? Eldegoss is a grass type. Okay, so we're just gonna keep battling. Here we go. Woohoo! We're not gonna be done in that. E we're not gonna be done that easy. In that what? What do you say? Okay, Eldegoss coming out. Level 20. Yikes. This is getting harder already. Let's fight. Flame charge. What's he doing? Come on, man. It's Dynamax time. You're about to be uprooted. What? Is it already Dynamax time? What? Oh my gosh. I thought, I thought he had six Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Maybe, maybe I misunderstood. Oh god. Uh, I should probably Dynamax myself then, right? Uh, sure. Here's a Flame Charge. Super effective, but... How good is that when that Pokemon is so huge? Max Strike, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. No, I'm not, I'm fine. How many Pokemon does this guy have left? My speed fell, I've been working on, oh, this is his last one. Okay, then yeah, I thought he, bro, when he came in with six on his on his like side, I thought he literally had six Pokemon. I'm gonna Dynamax then, don't worry. And I'm gonna use uh, Max Flare. It's gonna be awesome, you're gonna see me. Here we go. We're gonna Dynamax my guy. Boom! Big, big S Dog! Very awesome. I healed a tiny bit. Alright, here we go. Let's see what you're up, up against. Here comes Max Flare. Rest in peace! Alright, super effective. The sunlight turned harsh. The opposing, oh yeah. So yeah, that was a win for me, big time. Very epic. All right, we got experience points. Level up Imp Dog, Pumpkaboo, and Stunky. Uh, the Leech Seed. Uh, sure, what do you even have, Pumpkaboo? Oh wow, I don't know. Confuse Ray. Let's let's forget Confuse Ray. All right. I don't even know how if I'm going to use Pumpkaboo. <laughs> Stunky's level 19. There we go. That was awesome. All right. Defeated Gym Leader Milo. All right. The power of grass has wilted. What an incredible Gym Challenger. And I got a lot of XP for winning. All right, that was cool. That must have been a fulfilling Pokemon battle for you. As proof that you've defeated a gym leader for the gym challenge, allow me to present you with your very own grass badge. All right, affirm his hands are huge. But there's my grass badge right there. You can now catch Pokemon of up to level 25. You need to obtain all eight gym badges in order to complete the gym challenge. And the only way to gather the badges is to defeat every gym leader. All right, well, we've done one. Challenger Z Dog, my most sincere congratulations on defeating Gym Leader Milo. Please accept this TM to commemorate your victory. Magical Leaf. Nice. All right. The, the user scatters curious leaves that chase the target. This attack never misses. Here, uh, you can have Milo's uniform to go with it. It's a replica, of course. All right. Cool. I got a grass uniform. Thanks, Milo. Good thing you didn't use all six against me. Some advice for you, Z-Dog. The gym challenge has a set order you'll need to follow. So that means your next stop should be Holbury to meet Nessa. Holbury's just beyond Route 5. Or, since you've got the grass badge, you could head to the wild area. It's a bit tricky to catch Pokemon that are a higher level than a Pokemon on your team, but they make powerful allies if you succeed. All right, so very awesome. Guys, thank you for watching. We had a great episode today. Come back next time, we're going to explore outside of this area and try to continue on head towards the next gym i don't know when the next gym will be if it's one or two episodes but we'll get there eventually thanks for your support i'll see you next time for more
I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.